Hello Scrappers, this is Lorraine from Card Creations and we're going to go ahead and finish up our project for our memory book. And um, I have a few items here that I picked up at Michael's just a couple days ago so you'll be able to find those in the store and they're from the uh, Recollections and there are some poinsettias, some snowflakes, uh, the little penguins, snowmen, and the little trees. Uh, these were $1.99 a piece. And then I also found this package with the Can Company uh, cutouts. And uh, I liked these because they're more of an antique design. And that's the color of my paper. And you got, there's 28 pieces in this package for $3.99. So, we're going to go ahead and work on the front cover and get that finished up. And I'm going to show you what uh, I've got for the front. I cut just a small mat that is going to go in between the ribbon ties of my book. And I'm going to go ahead and add my decoration on the front with my bows that will be tied at the bottom here. So I've cut a rectangle piece that I'm going to add right there in between the two layers, or in between the two ribbons. And then I showed you, or gave you a link on how to make this wreath, and I've added some rhinestones, and I think I got these for a dollar at Joann's. So I added a few of those. <clears throat> And then I've made a label and I uh, pop dotted it or used the foam tape with three layers. One in the green that's, uh, well, it's coordinating paper that I used on my book. So I just cut three layers and staggered them and then added uh, a few little rhinestones and stamped Happy Holidays on that. And then uh, I decided that I needed something to mount my wreath to so to stabilize it a little bit and I wanted to actually add foam tape to the back of that so that it would sit up just a little so and uh, the happy holiday stamp I got this one at Michaels for a dollar so those are my supplies for the rest of the project so I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the front of my book about there and then add my well maybe I might have to add this next that way I can position that now I was planning to use my glue gun for this uh, just to make sure that it holds well with the uh, ribbon being a little bit different type of material other than paper and uh, some I just didn't want it to fall fall off so I don't have my glue gun handy. I didn't prepare for that, but uh, that is going to go right there. And like I said, I'll probably hot glue that on. And the next thing is go ahead and add our sentiment, which I'm going to add right up here. Do that. Now I'll come back to this later. Uh, I might go ahead and use my zip dry on that so that uh, we can go ahead and finish it up. But I'm going to go ahead and move on to the inside. Um, but let's go ahead and discuss this first. I, I used my nest abilities to cut a round scallop circle and then cut the inside out so that I could lay this here. Another thing you might want to do is get one of your embellishments. Now this one has a little tiny Christmas tree and I was thinking of maybe adding that 
right in the center. Maybe about right there. Oh, that's so cute. Hope it's not crooked. That's alright. Okay, so uh, I'll move this aside for right now. It is a little crooked. Let me see if I can just set it right there. Okay, now uh, I've go I went ahead and started adding some of my uh, little elements to the inside from this um, package. And I'll go ahead and maybe add a couple more just to give you an idea. They've already, they've already uh, got the foam tape on the back so you can just add them wherever you want. Now on these squares here, what I'm planning to do is just uh, add some journaling. So I might add an additional mat or uh, stamp some lines on a piece of cardstock, plain cardstock, and add it to this. This will be perfect for a photograph. So I don't want to obstruct too much of the area with the little embellishments. And you can always save them for, for last. Um, unless you plan on giving the book to someone that would add their own photographs. <clears throat> and as you can see, I've uh, added a few other little elements to the corners and down on this page. And then I also did the back portion with just some little embellishments. So. All in all, I'm, I'm quite happy with the way the book turned out, so I'm going to go ahead and fold it back up. I just have to remember that the center part goes in, and then this one goes over, and get that turned like this. Oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> Let's see if I've got the bow tying down. I just could not stop the last time. I just kept undoing it and tying it. But uh, there's that. And you can have your book facing in any direction since it's kind of a odd shaped book anyway when you open it up. There we go. And then that will go there. Clear some of this stuff away so you can get a good view of the project. Well, I hope you enjoy. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the little mini series that I had, and uh, would love to see some of your projects. So, if you want to add a link to my blog to your blog, so I can check out your your project. And thanks for watching.